So uh, we're at Lilling, Texas, um, and it is a cold January day. These are planted at the end of October. Um, these are both AU Merit um, Harry Vetch plants. This one has been uh, nitro coated, um, and this one has not been. And I want you to see the difference and why we say there's a value in pre inoculated and coated. Notice the difference on the top growth, and notice the difference on the root structure. When we dug this up, although I took, uh, I dropped some of them, uh, there's nodulation. So here's a, here's an example, and I'll show this against my coat. You can see the nodules right here. So, so the nodulation, and we've, uh, this area's had 15 inches of rain uh, since October. We've dug some other areas around, and it's a very thick, saturated, uh, heavy soil. So here's an example of soil. You can see. Oh, in fact, actually, there's some nodules right there. Look at that cluster of nodules. That's from nitro-coated uh, seed. And I'll point out, we're going to pan out. So just this is an example. So here's, this is a Humera um, with nitro-coat. And you can see the growth on here. And then we're going to go over... And this is um, the AU Merit, same variety, everything the same, except uh, except the one does not have uh, the pre-inoculation and coating that we get with Nitrocoat. Just dug up just above, just below the surface. And what you see here is you see here a really, really good cluster of nodules. That means that there's just been excellent success. Um, uh, there was a high live rhizobium count that was next to the seed. And so you can see the nodules. There's just an enormous amount, just right, right above the surface. This is free money, right here. And again, if you look, this, these were seeded in October. And if you look at where the seed would have been planted, and you can see that the uh, uh, seed would have been planted with uh, the inoculant right next to the body of the seed. And See, I'm just even moving right around here. You can see it all along there. There's excellent nodulation because there's lots of good, healthy, live rhizobia right next to here, right next to the seed. And that grabs right a hold when the root uh, gets developed. This will produce lots of nitrogen, which will in turn produce uh, a large amount of tonnage and then that will be able to be converted into high feed um, and or used as a cover crop to turn that nitrogen back for the next crop.